Well, welcome to The Bullying Point. I'm Richie Ware. This is Steven Taylor. Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit today about tubes, and sometimes there's welded tubes, there's road tubes, and I really just looking at these, I thought, you know, let's just talk a little bit about why that we would actually put a weld around the tube. Okay. Strictly on the hot pass, and not all manufacturers do it, uh -huh. um, but some of these designs are a little hotter on, on this turnaround, the mm -hmm. turnaround's a little tighter. So to keep from overheating that, t that, that bead, which the upper ones you can see, they're just rolled, flared, beaded, and there's no weld seal there. It's just, okay. just against the, the tube sheet. That, that, if, it's, if it's real hot there, that lends to some possible tube failure. So to, alle to alleviate that, what they do, they just stick this through Typically, the thickness of the of the tube, or an eighth of an inch, not much more than that. Mm -hmm. Straight roll it, and then seal weld it. And again, that straight the roll is what does the seal. Mm -hmm. We call it a seal weld. All that's doing is allowing you to transfer the heat from the edge of that tube to the tube sheet, okay. so that it doesn't overheat and crack. That's mm -hmm. all that's for. Mm -hmm. It's not. It doesn't seal the tube itself. Mm -hmm. That's what that roll does. When you expand that tube against that tube sheet, that's what, that's what does the seal. Right. We have them, you know, you see here, we had a couple of repairs that just came back off a job site. So we had a couple that were weeping. So they, they clean that up, roll it, touch that weld up to, to you know, to, to, to get that, that uh, uh, seal back in there again. Uh -huh. and, and then it'll go back out on another job again. But that, again, a lot of people think that that weld seals the tube, that's not what it's for. It, it's strictly to transfer that heat from the end of the tube to the tube sheet, um, and, it, and it does a really great job. What, what you really have to watch, if people don't understand what that's for and mm -hmm. what they're doing with it, they'll leave that tube you know, sitting out there a quarter of an inch, three sixteenths a quarter, I've seen them three eighths, and then they'll put a, a seal weld around there, and that tube is sticking out past that weld. Mm -hmm. Well, then when you have that piece of steel sticking out there with no way for that heat to transfer, it doesn't take any time at all for it to overheat and crack, and that crack will start running back inside that tube sheet. When it goes back inside, it'll run into the tube sheet, and before you know it, you've got a crack in the tube sheet, and you've got all kinds of structural issues that, you, that have to be addressed. Go back to the uh, rolling of the tube and the actually sealing of, I mean, how? How is that even possible? I mean, maybe you can that, expand that, on that. Um, the, the roll has got uh, multiple rollers on it, and it's, you know, it's about this long and that big around. It's got a, a mandrel, a tapered, tapered mandrel that sticks in there. You stick that in there, and you put that mandrel in there and put a big roll motor on it, and it rolls around and, and just presses that tube against that tube sheet, and the, and the, the further that mandrel goes in, the tighter it gets. Mm -hmm. And you can, you know, if you feel inside the tube, you can feel where it's rolled inside on the inside of the tube sheet. That's how much it's expanded that tube against there. Right. And that's all it is. It's hundreds of thousands of, 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 of uh, you know, pounds per square inch of pressure that it's putting that tube against that tube sheet. Mm -hmm. and, and then again, when, when it, if it starts to leak, you do the same thing. As long as it's not leaking bad, you can stick that, that roll in there and roll it. What we see a lot of times if, if, they, if they've overheated it, they've scaled it up, most of the time that's where the failures come from on, mm -hmm. on these type units. And then you'll have uh, that tube leaks a lot. Yep. So then you'll get chemical and mineral deposits between the tube and the tube sheet. Mm -hmm. There's no way to roll that tight enough to, 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 uh, to seal it. And, and I tell guys all the time, you can listen to the roll and tell whether it's going to hold or not. Mm. Because if it's popping and cracking, yeah. that's that minerals in there popping and cracking as you're trying to expand it, forget mm -hmm. it. Cut the tube out, clean it up, put a new tube in it. You're never going to get it to hold. It may hold that time for hydro. As right. soon as it heats up and cools off, it's going to loosen up and start leaking again. It's going to crack that weld <laughs> and, and start leaking again. So you, you just have to replace them. It's a great way to transfer that heat again if it's done properly. If it's not done properly, it won't hold any time at all. It'll it fail quickly. Not everybody's welds no not okay. everybody welds um uh, some of them are just rolled and beaded uh -huh. against that tube sheet and if it's a um you know a larger turnaround a larger area for to for for you to dissipate that heat mm -hmm. you can do that conventionally with today's boiler and the smaller footprint everybody wants to get you know 10 pounds of tools in a five pound box yep 
And, and, and when you do that, you got to do other things to get that heat transfer because you, do, you don't have the room for that turnaround. Right. Definitely some experience that we've had over the years with the mini boilers that are out yeah, there. We, run and, different ways. Yeah, we, so. we, we've done a lot of repair work to these, these boilers and, and seen a lot of different designs. We know what will work and what won't work. And sometimes we'll get a used boiler in that, you know, it's 15 years old and they rolled and beat it on mm -hmm. and, and, and they're not holding. We'll change it up. We put new tubes in it. We'll put them out there, seal weld them, forget about it. It, it, it takes care of itself. Cool. Well, I appreciate the info. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Appreciate Stephen hanging out with us and talking a little bit about the welding of those tubes. Always great information. And I hope you had a great Christmas. And we are getting ready to go into 2021. Not sure about you, but I'm kind of ready for 2020 to be over. And we are moving into a, a new year. And we wish you all of the luck, the success that uh, you guys are doing out there. So like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, share those videos for us. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.